Yeah, thanks for asking the question, what criteria must I meet to be an accredited investor? Well, the, in the United States, there are strict rules of Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC regulates, it's the watchdog for the investors and where, which I love it because I have written the book also, by the way, if you would like to learn more about, you know, how to really invest in what the syndicators do, like I specialize in apartments, but you may like to look into this book in Amazon. And you could even get a free copy if you go to apartmentsyndicationmadeeasy.com. Anyway, the key thing is you have to look into, there are sophisticated investors and accredited investors. Sophisticated investors are the ones who know some knowledge of finances. They have attended some seminars. They have taken some lectures or some courses, and but they are not accredited. Accredited investors are the ones they have uh, like making 200,000 a year uh, for the last two years or their spouse combined income 300,000 in the family for the last two years with the same prospect of making this year and so on or having a joint net worth of $1 million, not including the equity in their primary residence. So those are the ways, you know, professional designation, the individual is a general partner. So the person who brings the deal to you to invest is a general partner, and then accredited investors can invest as general partners, or they could invest as limited partners, LPs we call it, you know, right there. So it's important to note that, you know, these criteria are subject to change and different countries may have different, different criteria for determining, you know, what qualifies as accredited investors. So I know my podcasts and things are read and listened to all over the world. So I hope that you will really, you know, dig into your situation in your country also. Thank you so much.